If you clicked on this video, the name Daniel Larson needs no introduction. You probably knew about this guy who is most famous for his viral TikTok videos and controversial online presence. In recent events, he was declared mentally unfit to stand trial and was likely to be sent to a mental hospital for knows how long. But today, we'll be doing the part 3 of the Iceberg video series on the one and only Mr. President. Here we go! Above the surface, Daniel Larson codes. Daniel Larson likes to use these weird codes to describe how serious different situations are in his life, but they're pretty inconsistent and confusing most of the time. For instance, he throws around code red whenever something stressful or chaotic happens, like when his accounts get deleted or when he's in a tough spot. Code silver is his go-to when he thinks his life is seriously in danger, and code black is for when he feels like his whole career is on the line. He has even used some really questionable codes like code George Floyd when he's had money issues, which has obviously stirred up some controversy. This is a code George Floyd. This is a code George Floyd. We're in a financial <laughs> world. Our world is run by nothing but Oh my god, I need donations. This is, this is up. Fans have jumped in and made their own codes to try and make sense of Daniel's antics. For example, Code Ticonderoga gets used when something leaks about him online, and Code Doomsday is for when he has one of his major freakouts. These fan made codes are often just ways to poke fun of the crazy stuff Daniel goes through. In the end, Daniel's codes are just a reflection of how unpredictable and over-the-top his life can be, making it hard to know how serious any of his codes actually are. The College Arc In early September 2023, Daniel Larson entered what fans call the College Arc, where he believed he was a student at the University of Colorado Boulder after attending a frat party using a fake ID. He claimed he had enrolled at the university, had a scholarship, and even a roommate. Daniel spent several days wandering the campus, attending parties, and interacting with the members of the Phi Kappa Ta fraternity, who played along with his delusion. He posted videos of himself around the campus, proudly claiming to be a student. However, the fantasy came to an abrupt end on September 16th, 2023, when Daniel was arrested for third-degree assault after trying to access Folsom Field. He actually believed he was supposed to meet coach Deion Sanders, who was actually a troll impersonating the coach. When Daniel was told Sanders wasn't there, he lashed out and struck a security guard, leading to his arrest. After spending a few days in jail, Daniel was released and continued to insist that he had been a legitimate student, though the entire situation was a result of trolling and his own delusions. This brief, chaotic period in Daniel's life, lasting just six days, became known as the College Arc, where he was convinced he was living the college life, only for it to end in yet another legal issue. The Mountain Jew Incident On January 1st, 2024, Daniel found himself face to face with three trolls who seemed intent on causing trouble. One of them, holding a cup of Mountain Dew, casually asked Daniel how he was doing. Instead of engaging, Daniel confidently stated that he charged for photos, brushing off the question. But before he could react further, the troll flung the drink at him. Daniel tried to dodge, but the liquid splashed over him, leaving him drenched in Mountain Dew. Hey! Back away! You like that, Daniel? Surface Level The May 17th, 2023 Meltdown After saving up about $200, Daniel Larson bought a bus ticket to Orlando, hoping to make some money at Disney before heading back to Denver to record a new album. However, things went wrong when he missed the bus while filming himself running. This led to a meltdown, starting with him smashing his headphones and throwing them into the Hudson River. In his frustration, Daniel posted a series of now-deleted videos on 
at Daniel Larson NYC 13, where he complained, shouted, and even talked about wanting to find a gun. The meltdown continued the next day on both TikTok and YouTube, where he begged for donations and filled his posts with crying emojis. Daniel Larson Coma Incident On July 2nd, 2022, a series of TikToks appeared on Daniel Larson's account, claiming that he was in a coma. The first video announced his coma, only for Daniel to supposedly wake up an hour later. Things quickly escalated as Daniel began threatening impersonators and trolls with legal action. However, this stunt was clearly fake for several reasons. The video claiming he was in a coma had the same spelling patterns typical of Daniel. No photos of the hospital were ever posted, and there was never any explanation given for how he ended up in a coma in the first place. The Gas Station Incident on July 26, 2023, Daniel Larson's day took a chaotic turn. He began by declaring that he had filed for bankruptcy and announced plans to visit the recording studio three times the following week. Daniel claimed to have signed a $26 million record deal to cover his expenses and demanded that the record company fulfill their part of the agreement. He also mentioned that he would remain on the streets until he had saved $10,000. Additionally, Daniel became fixated on the idea that Jacob Sartorius was somehow connected to Grace, believing they were acting too slowly. Frustrated with the supposed record label, Daniel threw a rock at a gas station window and shattered it. This is because the label does at me and tells me to Bob. I broke a gas station window with a rock. This act led him to being charged with criminal mischief, less than $2,000 private property, and resulted in a court appearance on September 5, 2023. Below the Waters Denver International Airport Arrest Incident On January 9, 2024, Daniel Larson was arrested at Denver International Airport after a police officer approached him regarding multiple outstanding warrants. The day before, Daniel had posted a video where he argued with an airport employee over being accused of trespassing. Again, if I don't get the documentation proving that I'm trespassed, it's all fake. The following day, Daniel returned to the airport, claiming his bank account had been drained. He went to the chapel inside the airport and started a TikTok live stream. During the stream, Daniel mentioned that he was on probation, which drew the officer's attention. Although Daniel repeatedly offered to leave, the situation escalated, and he was arrested for failing to appear in court and for property damage. He was later released on a personal recognizance bond, with a court appearance scheduled for later that month. Afterward, Daniel claimed that airport security had harassed him for not having a plane ticket and insisted that a drunk man had called the police on him. Hello everyone. Yes, it is true that I got arrested this past week at the Denver International Airport. Yes, the security guard was harassing me. I was there to go to my bank and I don't need to have a plane ticket if I'm going to the bank. I was waiting for the bus back to Denver, which was going to take 20 minutes. While I was waiting for the bus, there was a drunk person that called the police on me. When the police showed up, I asked for their supervisor, and they started arguing with me about how they couldn't do it. Celebrity in the Hospital Incident In 2021, Daniel Larson got caught up in one of his weirdest and most infamous incidents, known as the Celebrity in the Hospital fiasco. Basically, some trolls tricked him into believing that Grace Vanderwall had died from a stress-related heart attack and that her last words were for him to carry on her legacy. Convinced it was true, Daniel started running around public places, shouting that there was a celebrity in the hospital and that people needed to spread the word. He caused the scene at several spots like restaurants, a bar, a soccer field, and even a gas station, where he loudly announced this fake news. 
There is currently a celebrity in the hospital. We are asking that the message gets out. That's very rude of you. Hello. There's currently a celebrity of the name of Grace Vanderwall that just passed away as of 6.30 tonight. We're asking that the message get spread. Do you got, think you guys could spread the message through here? Grace. Grace Vanderwall. Isn't she from ABT? Yes. She died? She just died. Stop it. Yeah. Um, currently, I was actually supposed to do a collaboration with her. Shut up. And she just passed away. I was, like, talking with her just as she died. Shut up. Yeah. It better be fake news. It's not. I... It's, it's actually... I'm going to be honest, it just happened, so the news has not picked it up yet, but they will be shortly. Excuse me, there's currently a celebrity in the hospital. I don't give a back to the Dang. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. We are asking that the information gets loose. Thank you, everyone. Most people either kicked him out or ignored him, but Daniel didn't stop. He even went on TikTok asking his followers to pray for the Vanderwall family, pushing the bogus story even further. It wasn't until December 2023 that it came out that Daniel had been manipulated by trolls and some sketchy management team the whole time. They were directing him through video calls and had complete control over his social media accounts, making him post a bunch of misleading videos. Even though Grace was totally fine, Daniel's over-the-top reaction to the fake news turned this incident into one of his strangest moments. Nuclear Attack Incident On August 2, 2022, Daniel Larson got caught up in a pretty intense prank during a Twitch stream. A user named Ox set a $100 donation goal to swab the stream video with a fake nuclear attack warning. Once the goal was hit, the prank kicked off and a fake emergency alert system or EAS warning about a nuclear attack on major US cities except Denver started playing. As soon as Daniel heard nuclear attack, he freaked out. He quickly scribbled down notes and ran to the hotel front desk and lobby to warn everyone, thinking it was the real deal. When he came back, Ox told him it was all just a prank, but Daniel wasn't having it. Already stressed about tensions between the US and China, this prank really messed with him. The next day, Daniel was still pissed off. He announced that Ox was fired and even mentioned some supposed restraining order from the Vanderwall family as part of his reasoning. Sorry to my entire fan base and the entire nation. There is no bomb threat. What Ox did tonight is absurd. And you... I want all my fans to give him the most hate he's ever got because of what he just said. He literally scared people just now. Ox is fired! And what he did tonight, taking a political situation into a national bomb threat, has completely crossed the line. I don't give a- The whole situation stressed him out so much that he ended up breaking a TV showing just how much the prank got to him. Down in the depths, the Colorado Mills Mall incident. On August 6, 2023, Daniel Larson got kicked out of the Colorado Mills Mall and ended up being banned from the place. In this video he recorded, you can see him arguing with a security guard who told him the ban was because he kept sleeping on mall property. Daniel was really upset about it, so after leaving, he went on YouTube and posted a video telling his fans to boycott the mall. He claimed the security guard was actually a troll and then, in a pretty angry rant, listed all the other places he'd been banned from. He was clearly frustrated by the whole situation. Okay, so don't ever go to the Colorado Mills shopping mall. One of the security guards is a troll um, and a hater from my social media platforms and has decided to troll and permanently lifetime ban me from the entire Colorado Mills property land.
The Storm Incident On June 17, 2022, Daniel Lawson posted a series of TikToks where he spent over an hour running from what he called a night of thunderstorms. Even though the storm was actually pretty mild and not widespread, he kept freaking out about getting grinched while dodging traffic and checking his phone for calls and texts. At one point, a fan found out, but Daniel was super rude and dismissive toward them. He also seemed convinced there was hail in the storm, even though he never actually got wet. Despite all the panic, there was no real threat. And a YouTuber named Megosdak even made a video pointing out there was almost no chance of a tornado. Justin Bieber bought plane tickets for Daniel. On May 19, 2023, Daniel Larson suddenly shifted his plans from urgently needing to get to Colorado for a recording session to claiming that Justin Bieber had bought him a plane ticket to Orlando for a week-long vacation at Disney World. He posted videos and comments on TikTok and YouTube, sharing his excitement and even confirming that he made it to JFK Airport, where he planned to fly to Orlando. However, things took a weird turn when Daniel, who admitted to being drunk, posted increasingly erratic updates. He mentioned there was a major concern and a problem. Blamed trolls for ruining everything and claimed he had just been fired. At one point, he even threatened to sue anyone who called the airport. Then, he bizarrely announced a fan meetup at the Statue of Liberty that night, which, unsurprisingly, never happened. Fans speculated that Daniel might have been tricked by trolls or misled by someone claiming to be his management leading him to believe Justin Bieber had bought him a ticket. Others thought his comments about an explosion might have gotten him into trouble at the airport, although this theory is unproven. Overall, it was another chaotic day in Daniel's unpredictable life, full of confusion and questionable claims. Deep enough, Daniel getting mobbed. On June 25, 2022, Daniel Larson posted a video where he found himself in a crowd and to his surprise, a bunch of people recognized him. As he made his way through, at least five people called him out and he ended up taking four selfies while constantly saying, oh my, and claiming he was a celebrity. Eh, there were some funny moments too, like when a guy asked him to say b**ll before snapping a selfie, which clearly made Daniel uncomfortable. Another person asked who he was running from, and Daniel quickly replied, I'm a celebrity, though the guy didn't seem to buy it. Oh, no way. Oh, the best for president. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, where am I? Later on, Daniel uploaded another video explaining what happened. He kept telling everyone that this kind of stuff is his real life and complained that his case manager, Andrew, didn't think he needed protection. Daniel even tied it back to his past issues with petty theft and property damage, blaming his fame for all the trouble and saying he's too popular for the media to ever leave him alone. The Machete Incident On April 25, 2023, Daniel Larson posted a TikTok video where he was running down the street, saying he'd just been attacked and declaring a code red. Emergency, emergency, I just got hit. I just got beat. He said he'd share more details soon. Later, he followed up with a video showing a small cut on his hand, which looked pretty bad. The next day, on April 26th, Daniel posted another video claiming that he was attacked by a machete and a baseball bat by a diabetic African-American woman who had asked him for a cigarette. So, I just got attacked last night and the person was African-American female wearing kind of like a tank top, barely anything on. Walked up to me, saw me, asked me if I could get them one cigarette um, that they're 
diabetic. They need a cigarette, otherwise they're going to have a seizure. I said, I am sorry, I don't carry cigarettes on me. They said I was being racist for saying that. The person was carrying a marchetti and just started like going like, if you don't get me a cig one cigarette, I will beat the living crap out of you. Get up now, take me to go get a cigarette. And then they started beating on me like a hundred bats pretty much.